we got a little bit left to go right here I've got a few more stumps in there just started kind of clearing all the old like dead timber in here so there was a fire in here a bunch of years back and there was a lot of tall dead stuff trying to get it safe in here because if you bump those with the uh, bush hog they will come down on you and some of them are pretty tall there's a really tall one right over there uh, there's a little guy right there there's another one over there there's one way back over there there's one right there so and then if you come over here we got one over there really tall one right there and another one right there and with scarlet bush hogging it's just it's better for me to just go through the shrubs and bushes over there fight my way into them get them on the ground because if she bumps them um, they don't usually go down like you think if you bump them a lot of times they'll come right back where the tractor or the operator is so uh, my job is to get in there make it safe so and we did uh one more clearing in here we had a bunch of these dead logs down um, so it kind of blocked our way so we couldn't finish bush hogging so we're in here Finally got the grapple back working on the tractor. Uh, that's been another, that's a whole different story. So it seems like the more we get done, the more issues we had with equipment. Track, uh, track goes down, grapple went down on the uh, tractor. We, we've, uh, the loader went down. It's like for real, oh, oh, oh yeah. And I just lost steering on the uh, stump grinder. So I'm having to steer the stump grinder by using the back wheel to lift the rear end up and slide it over. So I have to just repack the uh, steering uh, cylinders, but it just seems how it goes. The closer we get to getting in here and getting this done, it seems like something pops up. Got to cut this little guy down right here to get it as wide as we need to get the manufactured home in here. And what we did, we opened up another area right here. We're actually going to put the camper right there because we noticed this morning there was actually a cool breeze coming through the deciduous side of the trees compared to the needles of the pine trees. Um, seems like it's just a little cooler breeze coming through there. So we're gonna put the camper right there. So um, yeah, as you see, there's one of them tall dead ones right there. Pretty soon this will be all cleaned up in here. Tractor's doing good when the everything's working, bush hogs going and everything. So she did a lot of clearing. Uh, we're actually moving in one of the spots for the pigs. We have some uh, Durox and some Yorkshires, and uh, we had to make a different spot further over. So look how good this is starting to look. Yeah, I just got to get in here because I don't want her to bump stuff like that. It's just high enough. You can see them, they're back to back, two of them. I just don't want them to get her while she's on the tractor. So found another little live oak. We love the little live oaks. So he's staying. So let's get in there. Just trying to open it up a little bit in here, so that way, if there's any animals or something um, at night, I'd like to be able to see it, and it can't hide on us. So the pole barn's going to be back over this way right here, but our entrance is a little bit further down and to the right. So we cleared that up a little bit too to make it easier to get in there instead of like a 90 degree turn we just made it so it's nice and smooth going in so look at her go <laughs> she's so tiny on the tractor <laughs> so but well, she does good so hey let her do her thing she used to be so scared of all that stuff and now she'll run the loader the stump grinder tractor so can't complain so we actually noticed that further down in here where the deciduous trees are, it's actually a lot cooler. So we we're actually going to make the pen for the pigs that we have a little spot further down the hill. And we're just going to make them a little pen down there and they should do pretty good. Keeps them out of the hot sun. Since we're in Mississippi, it is scorching hot. So we should get all this cleaned up in here. A bunch of these old hollies in here to it's not a prickly leaf holly it's a little like tiny leaf holly and they are a pain in the butt it's this guy right here so now they actually say you can make tea once you roast the leaves but that's the holly and 
they grab everything. They're a pain in the butt, let me tell you. So, yeah, it's gonna be great. We'll probably clear out a couple paths with the tractor for um, the four wheelers. So, it's kind of crazy. Um, when the fire was here, it actually affected most of the trees up in this area. So we had a lot of trees that we had to cut down that were dead. So I think the fire was like six years ago, somewhere out there. So they're actually, I mean, very easy to knock over right now. And that's what makes them dangerous. You bump them and they're down. All right, just kind of giving you guys an update on the new section that we're in. Now that we're in the property, I'm really excited because that is just going to change everything. We can start building now. We're clearing out so we can kind of find where we want to put the chicken coop, where we want to put the shed. We're uh, still searching for exact location where we want to put the house. So, but this is part of this, like the stages, you know, got to get in, clear it, and see what you got. And like I said, we're going to put the camper over here. I think this is a great little spot. So anyways. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.